Hey, what's up? My name is Elliot Rosen with Studio Binder, and today we're gonna be talking about Michael Bay. Explosion, just like everywhere. Like him, hate him, or just snore him. Chances are good you've had a taste of the Michael Bay style, sometimes called Bayham. But there's a lot more to Michael Bay's films than just explosions. Oh my god! Okay, not really. But he does do this really epic shot that we've dubbed the Michael Bay hero shot. So today we're gonna show you how to do it on a low budget. But before we jump into what you need to pull off the shot, make sure to subscribe below and click the bell icon to stay in the loop. So what is a hero shot? Basically, it's like a dramatic shot of a main character. A director will use it to introduce a new character like they're telling you, go root for this dude. If you're looking to pull off the Michael Bay hero shot for your next film, you're gonna need three things. Number one, a telephoto lens. Two, a dolly or a gimbal. And three, some helping hands. Can't do this alone, guys. I'll be using the shot listing features in Studio Binder's production software to break down the specifics of the shot. Our shot will be a tight close-up that dollies around the actors and reveals our second actor in the back. Our settings will be 4K at 23,976 frames per second. We'll be using a DJI Ronin S gimbal, Panasonic GH5, and I'm gonna take advantage of the Ronin stabilization features combined with the GH5's 5-axis internal stabilization to create a shot that is almost too easy to make butterly smooth. We imported this screenshot from the actual Bad Boys movie into our small HD. And now what I'm simply gonna do with the image overlay function on the small HD, I'm gonna reduce the opacity just by doing that. And now you can see if, uh, Riley, you could just pan the camera a little bit, just wiggle it around. Yeah, now we're, what we're seeing is our actual live footage and we can adjust how much of the shot we're matching. Sean is a little bit shorter than Albert, and in the original Bad Boy shot, Will Smith is taller than Marvin, so he used a little case to get Sean's height a little higher than Albert. This entire gear set I'm using, guys, can be rented from someplace like ShareGrid for less than 100 bucks. So number one, telephoto lens. It can sometimes be called a long lens, usually 70 millimeters or longer, and visually it makes faraway objects appear like they're a lot closer. It gives you this amazing shallow depth of field that creates this really cinematic blurry background. And you can find this in normal everyday lenses like the Canon 70 to 200 zoom lens. Two, a dolly or a gimbal. The shot's fast motion is created by physically moving the camera rapidly while keeping the shot squarely focused on the actor the entire time. To get really technical for a minute, this creates what we call a parallaxing effect, which is when you get the background and the foreground moving separately from each other to create this illusion of depth. Um. There's a lot of ways to achieve this Michael Bay style fast camera motion. The most expensive way is to put the camera on a dolly and rapidly push it on the track. However, this requires a large crew, time, and setup, and let's be honest, we're not working with a Michael Bay budget. Number three, helping hands. I'm gonna have a friend assist me with the camera and push me around in a desk chair to mimic the effect you get with a dolly while I operate the gimbal. You wanna limber up, and this goes for it all parts of life, but specifically with dolly gripping on office furniture, it's squirrely and you want to have good core strength. So we were just taking a look at the shot and actually just me on my own two feet looks even better than Riley pushing me, so you're fired. If you were really good at rollerblading or skateboarding, that could work too. You could put roller skates on and just do it yourself actually. Don't forget, you'll need an actor too. This might sound like a no-brainer, but take a second look at the shot example. No one in their right mind would just stand up that slowly, look off into the middle of nowhere, and just say a sentence to no one in particular. It just wouldn't happen. Hi, my name is Albert Abraham and I'm a bad boy. We are two of three people from Via Nova Studios YouTube channel. You can check us out. We do a lot of cool fight stuff. And now, here is the final shot. The shit just got real. And now here it is compared to the original shot. The shit just got real. Cool, pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, honestly, I wasn't totally sure this would work, but I'm super glad it did. Let's recap. 
The main elements of the Michael Bay hero shot are a telephoto lens, dolly or a gimbal, and of course, some helping hands. Are you a fan of the Michael Bay style? What are some of your favorite hero shots for movies? Tell us in the comments! Do you have an epic shot you like to pull off? Or maybe just some epic explosions? Either way, you're just gonna wanna plan it, right? So, check out the description below. We got a link to Studio Binder. Guys, it's free to get started. You can follow us on Instagram, and don't forget to hit that icon below for notifications. Hope you enjoyed this little slice of Michael Bay. And we'll see you on the next one. And down. And up. And down. And up. <laughs>